Hey, everybody. Hey. Welcome back for the long-awaited workshop on joysticks. <laughs> um, we're excited. I'm excited because I get to learn a lot about joysticks today. Um, and so will you. JC has a ton of information to go through today. Um, yeah. He's got a lot of examples, uh, some tips and tricks. And then we'll get to some questions at the end. If you have questions, make sure you drop them in the chat. Um, and if they're relevant and uh, applicable, I'll stop JC from whatever he's doing. And we'll go through those. Uh, if not, we'll cover them yep. at the end. So, JC, take it yep. away. So, uh, today we're going to see uh, different things about Justig. Yesterday we have the... I have the characterization and I saw a simple way to create a joystick so you can see that video in our channel. But today we are going to see different things about joystick, different ways to use and different things that you need to have in your mind. So let me share my screen. Okay. Also, let us know about the audio quality. If the audio quality gets bad, yeah. let us know. Not much we can actually do about it. I think it's a StreamYard thing. But I don't know. Yeah. We'll see. All right, take it away. I'm going to shut up now and go bye-bye. So uh, I'm going to start showing the, uh, so, uh, the animation I did yesterday. Uh, in the Cati session, I create these three joysticks to uh, move the character. And... This is um, the animation. We create a uh, joystick to change the direction of the fish, to create the bling and move the uh, pupil. And then later, in, in, when we finish the criticization, I complete the file, creating uh, this interaction where you can click on the, on the character. So this file is in the community. You can check, and you can check the video to see how I create this joystick. But uh, yeah, today. Let's go to a start and to understand how work justice how, and how you, you can create. So the first point is how works joysticks. So uh, I have this simple uh, shape to create some justice and see how works. So uh, with justice, you, you can create three types of justice. You can create a horizontal justice, vertical, or a square, depend of uh, the animation you want to do or, or the direction that you think is better for this control, you can use one of them. So for example, if I want to move this um, ellipse horizontally, uh, what I need is a joystick. To create the joystick, you can find here the option or using the G key, you can create a joystick like this. So. Here I create this joystick. Doesn't matter the size. In the beginning, you can create uh, a joystick like this. You can see that you can create in every size you want. So I'm going to use this. But what I need is an animation to use in this joystick. So uh, because I want to create a horizontal move, I'm going to create this animation. horizontal and key the position I want. So in this case, what I need is two positions. The position in zero, that can be this position, or the position to the end, that is the other position, the final position I want. So I have this simple animation. So um, now I think I need to do in the opposite, but we'll see. Uh, so I have this simple animation, and my idea is move the joystick to create this. So what I need now is selecting the joystick. I can add this animation. I can add in the X or in the Y, because in this case, I want to move it horizontal. I can select this option and select the animation I want. So uh, the other thing is that you need to know is now I am in the same mode. If I move the joystick, nothing happens because we need an animation to make the joystick work. Okay. And now 
I am in, in one animation, but I am in the animation that I use in the joystick. So what we need is another animation, the animation where we are going to create all the keys we, we need. So I'm going to rename this demo. And now when I move uh, the joystick, oops. When I move the joystick, you can see that is working. What happened here is that when I move the joystick, uh, I screw the timeline here in this animation. This is what happened, okay? So I have this animation and I can key all this position. For example, I want to start here and in this point, I want that the animation in here and I can add interpolation curve here too. And I have this part. So then here, maybe I, I want to move the joystick in this position and then in this position and add some, some interpolations and check this animation and that's it. So this is the idea, it's very simple in this case because the animation is very simple, but you can see you need the animations uh, you want to create with the joystick and connect this animation to the joystick. I just wanted to pop in with one quick question. This may be a dumb question, but yeah. I believe there's no dumb questions. When you select, uh, when you add an animation to your joystick, um, it doesn't matter if you pick X or Y, does it? Like if you if you make a horizontal movement, does it matter if you put it on the X? Yeah, the difference is this. The difference is, doesn't matter, but depending on what you want to do. The difference is this, if I, for example, remove this and use the Y, uh, you can see that, oops, sorry, not here, it's in here in my demo. Oops, no, it's not working. Oh, weird. Yeah, this is something that, I, but maybe let me check this. Uh, scale. Now, yeah, that's in work. Yep, this is interesting. Let's check now X. I need to make sure that he's working. Okay, he's working. Yeah, I thought I thought that doesn't matter because uh, uh, if you connect animation and you move in Y on X, you reproduce the uh, the timeline. But no, in this case, that's what I, I was think is do. I think the the thing is uh, because I use the X value, I need to use the X instead of the Y because I don't have Y value. Mm -hmm. I think this this is the the justification. I wonder if it works. Um... This is something we can figure out later, but I bet yeah. rotation and and uh, things like that would. Yeah, work. yeah, exactly. Cool. So uh, let's remove this. I have the horizontal. Yeah, let's remove this. And now, uh, oops, this is a shape I create. I want to create another. In this case, in vertical. Something like this, and. Because I want to animate in vertical, I'm going to create another animation. And do the same. Uh, here, the position can be here. I think in that is in the opposite. Let me try, because this is a little bit tricky. Here in this position, and here is on top, something like this. So now, uh, one thing, you can connect the uh, joystick in anime mode or in the same mode. I, I like to jump to the same mode to make sure that I connect, I, I don't uh, uh, add keys or whatever to uh, my animation. So I want to select the vertical with the Y and go to this demo timeline this so i have this animation that i use now and the demo and if i move this ah, i move i put in the opposite 
So this is the vertical. The only problem is I create the keys in the opposite direction. So this key be in this. And you can see that we have the vertical key and works in the same way. You can create different keys and add interpolation and create the animation. And the other thing is, let's remove this, and you can create a square joystick, something like this. And here, what we need is, because the idea is move the joystick and move this ellipse around uh, of the stage, we can use both animation, the horizontal and the vertical. So now when I move the joystick, I move all these. So what happened here is that uh, both animations uh, is playing at the same time are mixing at the same time. Um, uh, the way that these two animation mixing is like uh, uh, we use in, in Rive, like the animation mix in Rive, that means uh, you need use different keys this is working because I have key the X in the horizontal and the Y in vertical. So if in vertical I key the uh, X, I have a problem because the X are using the other thing. So this is the simple way and you can create these three types of joystick. This is for example, a good uh, use case for a uh, pupil in the in the in the in the eye. Um, okay, so we have these three types of joysticks. Let's see some examples about this. Uh, this is one example. This is the same that we did. Uh, I have um, this horizontal joystick to move. Oops, I need my demo animation. Remember that the joystick always works in timelines. No in the same mode. So I have this control to move the size of the puppy, of the pupil. Um, in this case, I decide to use in, in vertical, but I guess it doesn't matter because it's a scale. And you can see here that I use this animation. It's a simple animation. Uh, I have this for the pupil. It's the same case we, we, we show. So we have two animations, how the pupil works in horizontal and how the pupil works in vertical. And in this case, it's interesting because I use three keys in this case, only to control because I change the deformation, the scale, and Y. So here the scale is 90 and here is 100. So only to make sure that here the, uh, the, the pupil is, uh, a little bit deformed and here is 100% and here is deformed again to create this effect, okay? Um, so you can add all the keys you need to create this small animation uh, here in the timeline. And the other thing is, let me move this here, and the other thing is the blink. You can see here, I use this animation for the blink and here is the bling. Oops. You can see here all the keys I need for this. And you can see that in this animation, I only have how the eye close and that's it. Later, I'm going to uh, show you one trick to, to use the justice with the bling that I think is interesting. So with all these, you can create a simple animation like this using the joysticks. Okay, so simple example. We did the same that we did with the with the ellipse. This is other type that I think is interesting. Use the justed for a mouth. Um, it's the same concept about the pupil. I am in the demo. So when I move this control, I can close the mouth, I can open, and when I move in different direction, I can create different for the mouth. 
So moving the this control, I can create a character like Tolkien, no? What's up, pop, pop, pop. Yeah, he, he, he. And the idea is, you can see that I use these two animation in horizontal. I only key how is the mouse in this position and how is the mouse in this position. And in vertical, how is the mouth in this position and how is the mouth in this position. And the only thing I create here is this key to keep, let me show the bone, to keep this uh, bone here. So you can see that this part of the uh, lip is here, they stay here in this position and then, oops, stay here and then move down. The thing is interesting for create uh, the, the, the O or the U. So, this is an interesting way to use uh, Justin. Instead to move the position of something, you uh, change uh, different bones to create something like a mouth. Okay, and I think I have another, okay, another example, a little more complex. Let's remove the bones. Um, same idea, I have, uh, this control to move the look is the same. I only need uh, the position of the eye in horizontal and in vertical. Maybe the interesting thing here is that the pupils are clipping with the eye. So this way, when you move the eye here, and never go outside. The other thing is that is interesting in move the head using the this joystick so to create this what you need is the information uh, about how the head move in horizontal in vertical in this case but is like this i use here because this character have this control to move the face so i use this control and in this case because i have the control i don't need move all the shapes or group only use the control and this is the way I decide that the vertical move and the horizontal you can see here I move the horizontal and the only thing is I uh, use this scale in the face to you can see that here is more uh, straight the face and here is 100% only to create this a little effect so using this bone, I'm mixing these two animation and you can create this movement of the head. And the other thing is a blink, simple blink. In this case, I think what I use for the eyes is uh, this shape that is clipping with the, uh, the whole eye. So when I move this, and I, I, I know how because it's connect, but when I scale this shape, cut the eye. So yeah, I know. Oops. It's here. It's, this shape is cutting the whole eye. So this is an interesting example. Uh, um, as you can see, what I did in all this example was create the animation I need. Uh, move the elements or, which, or, or deform the elements, um, add to the joystick and depend of the properties I use, the X or Y, I use, I connect the uh, animation to that uh, option on the joystick. So uh, next, let's go and talk about the thing, the element that you can kill, you can use with the joystick. So when you create animations, for the joystick, you can key, you can use everything that uh, you have. Okay, so uh, you can connect, for example, bonds and create the animation using bonds if you want. So in this case, so in this case, I create some joysticks. Let's go to the demo here. Move this a little. Yeah. So uh, with the adjusted, I can move 
the arm. Uh, I can move the hand. I can move the mouth. Or I can move these legs. Okay. And here in animation, I create this simple animation to show what the character do. And the idea is that for uh, each of these joysticks, for example, for the mouth, I move here the mouth. And what I use is bones. Okay, I key the position of the bones in the arms. I key the position of all these bones, the hand and the leg. So you can key bones to create this animation. This is another example. You can key groups. If you use groups, uh, you can use, you can key all these groups. For example, this robot, I did this robot a long time ago <laughs> when uh, we don't have bonds in that time. So all these uh, robot, the rig of this robot is making using groups. I don't know if we can see here, but I have a lot of groove of the different parts. So with uh, this bone, this uh, just for example, I can move, let me see, okay, in the demo, I can move uh, the up and down of the character, or I can move the arms. You can see here in the arm. And you can see that here in the arms, where it moves is the different groups of the arms. Okay. So you can key bonds, you can key uh, groups, you can key shapes and um, vertex. Of the of the of the shapes, this is the other thing. So in this example, for example, uh, if I use the joystick, I change this phone or this thing. Um, what I did here, you can see that I key all the shapes, and in some case vertex. So let's and see here. If I select all this and go to the demo, you can see, oops, it's not, let me try again with the play, this is better. All the shapes, and go to the animation, and here, it's not working. Is it working here? No, no it's impossible to see here. No, the play is not working. So let's create a new animation over oh, here. Ooh. I think I have one key in one part of this and remove this. So here the key is this and here the key is this, and now it works. OK, so we can see this, and my idea is show all the shapes like this. This is my idea. So you can see how all these shape change uh, the size or some vertex to create these different movement, positions, and clipping using only the uh, shapes and vertex. So this is the only thing you can key uh, for this animation to use uh, with the justice. You can keys uh, the shapes. We say the bonds, groups, shapes. This is the other interesting thing. You can key meshes if your uh, design is a mesh, it's an image with a mesh. This is an animation of uh, Michael. This is good, and you can see here. In this demo, when I move the joystick, this is what happened. I can move the character. And the way you can do this is uh, using the mesh and moving all the vertex of the mesh. You can see here, this is the mesh. And this is what happened in the vertical. Uh, animation, and this is what happened in the horizontal animation. The only thing that 
that you need to uh, keep in your mind when you create a uh, just using a mess is that, for example, in the uh, horizontal, yeah, in the horizontal animation, all the keys you only need key the X, not the Y. If you key the X and Y, then it doesn't work because the other animation use the Y. It's the only thing that you need to in your mind. So for the uh, message like this, you can create a rig. And instead to move all the vertex, you use the rig. Or you can use the mess like this and move all the vertices this is your side. But yeah, this is the oops. This is the thing. You can key uh, messes to uh, create animation for the oops for that. And the other thing that you can key use or you can use is uh, nested up board. This is interesting too because uh, in this case, for example, I have this nested board with two animations, this about the uh, light and this about how the candle move. And then I import the uh, nested board here. I set up the two animation I have and I connect uh, the animation. In this case, because I use for the idle, I use a simple animation because the light is always working. But for how the uh, candle grow, uh, I use a uh, remap, the remap option. So in a vertical animation, what I use is the remap. I keep the remap to create how the animation works. So here, when I move this control, doesn't work. I don't know why it doesn't work. Ah, this is the thing. <laughs> it's good. You can see that when I move the control, nothing happened. This is a bug we have now because this is an instead of board. So I can screw the timeline of this because it's here. This is the animation. But we can fix that. This is a bug we have now. So when you move this, supposed to move this, the, the animation. But now what we're going to do is I create a simple animation that you can see that this is working. So maybe something like this. And create this interpolation. And now you can see that it's working. So the only problem is when you move the joystick, nothing happened here because this scrub uh, animation is not working now, but we need to fix that. So this is the different example uh, about all the elements you can key to create uh, your joystick. So you can see that you can key everything and you can mix all these. If your animation has bones, groups, vertex, and um, messes, you can key everything to create a different animation for uh, the joysticks. So let's go to the next. You can see that I have a lot of example. And um, yeah, the next point is the different ways that you can use joystick. Uh, what we see. Um, for now, is that you can use it to move things. Uh, so this is the basic way to use joystick. We saw all that example. I have here more example about that. I don't know if we can use everything, but yeah. So this is another example. Use joysticks to move uh, different elements. I have this demo. Let me use this. This is better. Okay, like this. So um, I have in this case, in this cut, I have this joystick to move the pupils. We saw in the other example. I have this to move the mouth that we saw in the other example. Is the same idea, and um, we have the joystick to move the head. And it's the same example we did before. So we are moving the joystick the different parts. Uh, the blink or the ear, for example, of this character. Another example, this is a Michael example. Uh, just using the joystick, you can move the hand like this, create this rotation. You can move the different fingers. And this, 
and create this. Another example. Oops. Uh, in this case, you can move the direction of the car and the wheels. Okay. And in this case, creating an animation like this. Here, the interesting thing is, uh, for example, for the direction, you can see that what it did is deform the car using all the elements I have, using shapes, nested at boards, groups. I have a lot of elements here. You can see it's so long to create this deformation. And in the, in the case of the uh, wheels, I only use a uh, simple deformation with the uh, uh, this nested board because in this animation the wheel is is a nested board. So more things. This is another example. Here we have some joystick to move. Uh, this is interesting. This is a Laura example. And this is a uh, very interesting use uh, for the joystick. Uh, if you move in vertical, for example, you can change the rotation of the eyebrow. And if you move in horizontal, you can move the position. And it's very interesting to create different uh, uh, expressions. Uh, move the rig, move the face, or this way to move the rigs. So uh, and this is the same example I saw in the beginning. So all this example is how you can move things with joystick. Let's see other way to use joystick that I think is interesting. In this case, is use a joystick to uh, play animation. More than play is a scrap the animation. Uh, for example, in the robot I show for, uh, we show that we have this control to move the character, uh, the arms, and then I have this joystick that in this case I don't move something. I mean, using the joystick to the up and down, I move the character from one position to another. But with the joystick, what I do is play the animation I have here, that is how the face changes. And depending on the speed, I can create one animation or another. So I can do something like this, or I can do something like this to this position and then move to the other position and create two different animations using, using the joystick. This is the idea. So here in this animation, you can see the example. So this is something interesting. Uh, in the lights, it's something similar. I can move this just to turn off the light, but it's not turn off to one key from uh, to another, from one key to another. Is have this small uh, fade out. So I can key one position another and create this small animation. But I think this is the very interesting case. So depend of the animation, for example, I here and now in this position, I can say this stop here a little bit. And then go to the final part. And I, I create this interpolation here and this interpolation. So this is the thing. Using the EST, I can use an animation and play or scrap the animation in different way and I stop in different parts depending on the animation I have. So in this case, I don't move something. What I do is play something I have inside. Okay, so I just wanted to pop in really quick. We had a we had a good question. I think this one's good to get out of the way right now. Um, so Xander Core is asking if. Uh, if slider controls are also important when implementing as part of a program or a game, 
or are they more of a tool that relates to animation? Uh, say again. <laughs> I, I think I can answer this. Uh, joysticks are just a tool for animation. Um, it doesn't matter whether you pick, whether you go down the route of animating with joysticks or animating with bones and groups and things like that. When you implement it, it, it doesn't matter. You're, you're still going to be implementing that state machine and the state machine is already controlling stuff. Um, yeah. And it's up to you whether or not you want to tie in to the joystick at runtime or you want to tie into some face control. It doesn't matter. So, yeah. Exactly. Joysticks are for animation. Yeah. Just to think for, for animate for animate different things, but you can use in the runtime in different ways if you want. But yeah, the idea is to help the animation, to make, to make the animation more comfortable using this. The, the principal thing is when we have different controls and rig, sometimes we need to know what is this control, what is the other. And with the joystick, the joystick is there, you move and that's it. This is the, this is the thing. Yeah, so for the another example, uh, I need to switch one moment to another. Oh, yeah. I think um, this is not what I want to do. <laughs> yeah. OK, so um, this is other example about use the just to play or scrub animations. Uh, in this case, we have this uh, dragon. I don't know if you remember the dragon about the solos uh, workshop. Um, the idea is when I play, you can see that what happened here is I have a control to open the mouth. In this case, I don't move something. I play the different image I have in this animation. Or moving this, I can play the different image I have to the fire to create this animation. So uh, all this is making with uh, solo. So you can see here uh, in fire, I have all the uh, kit I use to here. You can see here the solo object, how is activated each of these element. And because I use this animation and connect this animation uh, to the joystick, when I move the joystick, I play all this image. So this is the other way to use uh, joysticks. I think it's working here. No, it's not working here. So you can use solos with Yoshi. This is the thing I think is interesting. If you have different elements and you need to use the solo object, you can use in the animation to create all these. Um, as I said, uh, using this, in this case, you don't move nothing. You play or you scrap uh, in the animation you have inside. So let's go to the file because now okay this uh so we saw uh one way to use just it that is move thing that is the normal thing we do then this option that you can play or scrub animation that you have and another option is uh use joystick to control other joystick. This is very interesting to create more complex rigs or, or, or different things that maybe you need. For example, um, let's go to the demo. Uh, I need the bones here. And in this case, I have this rig where I can move the pupil. Then I have this joystick where I can move the eyelid like this and this like this and then i have a master joystick that i can close the eye so the idea of this is that doesn't matter what is the position of these eyelids maybe something like this 
that when I move this control, I can close the eye. This is the idea. So you can have, for example, a hand with different position of the fingers and with the uh, mind joystick, doesn't matter what is the position of the finger, in one point you can close all the arm, all the, the, the hand. This is the idea. So I'm going to show you how you can do this because this is the interesting part. So I have the same uh, rig. The only thing is I don't have this main joystick. And let's go to the demo. And we have this joystick to move this eyelid and this, oops, to move these eyelids. And um, yeah, you can see that here, what it did for each of these animation is how work, how move this part. So now uh, we're going to here. Um, what you need to create these joysticks is uh, create a new joystick like this. And the thing is, it's impossible to connect the joystick to the joystick directly, okay? What we need is use targets and constraint. This is the idea. So in this case, I need two targets I'm going to use this, to use this joystick, and another target to use with this joystick, something like this. Now the next step is connect the joystick with the target. And when you select the joystick, you can see we have this option. So when you click here and select the target, now the joystick is connected to these targets. And you can see that the size of the joystick changes. And this is because now the joystick is in the space of the, of the, of, of the stage. Uh, because now in this moment, the joystick is not in the space. For this reason, uh, I can, it's, it's like a shape, it doesn't work because it's, it's not in the same space, but now here is in the space. So you can see that the USD change the size. And this is what I want is uh, when I move the control, the, this target, the USD follow. So I'm going to use the same with this, select this and select the target and you can see that the USD change too. So I have this. And the other thing I need now is, the other thing I need now is, uh, let me think, is another uh, target to connect with these uh, targets, okay? So I'm going to add a new one and put in the same position because this new one is, is the target I'm going to use for the animation for this joystick. So I'm going to copy these two. And I need two, I can use one, but I need two because I want to use a constraint. To this way, I can say in one moment, the, just, the main joystick works, in another moment, doesn't work. For this reason, I use two uh, targets, okay? So now I'm going to say uh, this, target, the first one I create, I'm going to add a constraint, translation constraint, and the target is the new one, that is this. So when I move this new target, the second target works and the joystick works. I'm going to do the same with this, uh, this target. I'm going to add a translation constraint and I use as a target this one. So when I move this target, move the other and the joystick. Okay. And now what you need is this new animation. The main joystick. And here, I'm going to say uh, when the joystick is in this position, Something happened when the justice is in this position, something happened. So what I'm going to do is use this new target and keep the eye open and key this position. And the same with the other, keep the eye open. So I keep this position. And in then 
what happened is that this target is in this position and this here is in this position. And the other thing I need is key the strength of the constraint because if I don't key, always is activated. So in this case, only work this joystick. This doesn't work because this target is connected to this joystick. So what I need is select this joystick, the first one, and here I can say here <clears throat> the strength of the constraint is zero, and here the strength is 100, and the same with this joystick. Here in this position, the strain is zero, and here the strain is 100. So uh, now let's see what happened. I'm not sure. <laughs> so, uh, OK, let's this. Ah, the other thing, I forget. I need to connect this animation to this. So uh, because I use a vertical animation, what you need is connect this to the main joystick. Now it's working. So what I say is that in one position, uh, the eye is open. In other position, the eye is closed. So here, because it's open, the strength of this connection is zero. For uh, this reason, I can move this target and move the joystick. And when I move this joystick, now the strain is 100. So you can see that I can, it's impossible to move this target because the strain is 100 is connected to this. So this is the way you can connect the joystick using targets and constraint to connect all these. Uh, one thing, for example, here, this is normal because it depends how the strength uh, works. You can see that uh, when I move the joystick, these controls move in this direction, and then when they connect with this, move in the other direction. This is the way uh, the strength is working, is, is normal, but to avoid this, movimiento that is open and then close, uh, one thing you can do is move the strength to this part, for example. So all this part don't have strength, and from here is when the strength start working. This way you can uh, avoid a little bit this movement, like this, it's more small. But always depend of the animation you want to do. The idea is that you can connect the UST, uh with targets, and you can connect this target to another joystick in one animation or using uh, constraint to another target. And in one moment, you can activate this joystick. In another moment, you can deactivate this joystick. This is a very interesting way to use because you can create more complex uh, animation, more complex rigs with that. OK, so we have all this. And we saw that we different ways you, we can uh, use just it is move things that we see, uh, play or scrub animations, uh, and this way that you can connect just with another. But there is another way to use just it. In this case, it's just uh, use just it with the ST machine that is interesting too. And it's the same idea we did before: is connect just it to a target. And then you can use uh, this target and with the same machine and listener, for example, you can create uh, something like this. Oops. This is working. This is working. This is the target. This is the joystick and the animation. Let's see. It's here. Yeah. Ooh, what happened here? This is the joystick, okay. Is it working? Ah, it's working, okay. So I have this face uh, with a mesh connect to these two bonds, and the bond is connected 
to this um, control. And we move the control, move all these. And when I move the joystick, you can see that moving away. But this is not working that I expect. Why not? because I think I destroyed the animation I have here. Let me check one thing. This is working. And this is working too. No, I think this is broken. Let's show this because this is the same example here. This is the cut, the same cut we have for so uh okay yeah no i need the bones here to see okay so this is the cut that we have heard before i create this control of look so when i move this control you can see that i move the joystick so now when i hit play in the state machine because I use a listener that is a rectangle that cover uh, the stage. When I move the cursor over the uh, listener, you can see how this control of the loop follow the cursor. And because I have the joystick connected to this control, I can move the face using the joystick. This is the idea. So here you can see that uh, this joystick is connected to this group that is this, this uh, target. And this target uh, is nested to this other target. So when this target move, the joystick move. And this target have a translation constraint. In this case, I put 50 to make more smooth uh, with the look. So all this connection, that means that when I move the look, I move the control, so I move the face. So when I can play, I can do this. So in this case, I can move the joystick using the state machine to create some of kind of interactivity. This is the other way interesting to use. Other example, the same animation we saw before, but in this case, you remember that I have this animation with this joystick. What it did was connect in the same way, connect the joystick using uh, targets and using this master control. And uh, in this case, what happened is when I move the cursor, because in this case, I use, uh, so here, I use a listener uh, to use the pointer move. So in this way, the uh, this control follow the cursor. Okay. So when I move the uh, cursor, uh, for example, in in the let me show you here better. In this case that we saw, when I move the cursor, I move the joystick. So I move the the head. No, I move in the head using the Cursor. But here, what happens is when I move uh, the cursor, I play in the animation. I don't move in the head. I play in the animation I have inside. So this is very interesting too to use. So you can here, for example, you can have, uh, I don't know, uh, three. And when you move the cursor, the three grow in one way or another. And this is the thing, you don't move something from one position to another, you play the animation you have inside. So this is an interesting way to use joystick too. And this is the last example that is interesting. Always depend the uh, animation, but yeah, you can use joystick to uh, create sliders. Not in the way that you can use the joystick as a slider, but you can make some connections using targets and make that the slider works better. Because now, in right, we have this 
no problem or, or, or problem that when uh, we create a um, slider uh, to make that when I move this control and this animation change while I'm moving, I need all these hitbox. Because in this case, this animation works in this way. I have this blend state that makes two animation. This animation where the speaker is stopped and this animation where the speaker is pounding. So this blend state makes these two animations. As you can see here, makes these two animations using this value. So I need to change this value to create, to mix this animation. And this value, oops, this value is controlled for this hitbox. So you can see here that this hitbox have the value zero, the hitbox that is the second have the value 10, and the hitbox have the other value. So when I move this control, you can see here how the value is changed when I over when I hover this different hitbox. And this this is a good way to create this slider uh, in Rive, but depend of the slider, you need to create a lot of uh, hitbox or not. But with Joystick, you can change this a little bit. Um, instead to use a lot of hitbox, you can connect a Joystick with the slider. The only problem in this case is that I can use the blend state because I can connect the value of the blend state to the uh, joystick. But if the this slider simple uh, move something of the position, you can do it without problem. You can create the animation you want and connect the uh, joystick to the slider using the target that we did before. But in this case, you can see that I create the same uh, animation without the blend state. And this was uh, using this. Uh, instead to mix uh, the two animations in the blend state, uh, what I did was keep the animation of the bouncing, that now doesn't work because it's connect, and add a new animation with a strength, with a constraint, because what I did was uh, add this target this target here that is in the same position of the control that move the uh, the uh, the speaker, and here in the control of the speaker, I added this constraint one of uh, translation when the the uh, speaker is jumping and other for the scale when the speaker is deforming, and in this animation what it did is change the strain of each of these uh, elements. So here in the speaker, you can see that I have these two, the scale and, and the translation. And in this position is 100 and this position is zero. So this way I can mix these two animations in the same machine. And what it did is uh, when I move the slider, I change the strength. Okay, so here in the same machine, you can see that uh, the speaker is always playing, and then when I move the control, this slider, move the joystick, and the joystick, what it does is scrub the animation where it have the strength. So now the strength is zero, a 100, and now the strength is zero. So in this way, the animation can work, and here it doesn't work because the strength is 100. So <clears throat> what I try to say here is that you can use just for the slider to make more easy the process, but depending on the animation, you can use in one way or another, because is the animation is complex and you need just blend state. For now, we can connect the just with the value. So maybe you can use, you can find another way to create the same animation. But this is the thing you can use in some ways. And I think this is everything. Uh, this is the same example, but with a simple animation, in this case, is only a scale. And this is very simple because you only need is the uh, the size of the speaker. You can see that I create this 
small pointing of the speaker and connect to the joystick here and then connect the joystick to this slider. The only thing is uh, to connect the joystick to the slider, you connect to the target and then this target you can use a constraint to connect in this case with the button that is here. I think is uh, here in the slider is here. So when you move the button, the joystick move and then move the um, move the animation. And that's it. You can see that we can do a lot of things with joystick. I sh I'm sure that there is more things that you can use. Uh, uh, I'm sure we can discover more uh, ways. But yeah, I think this is a lot of information that you have now. All right. Well, I got two yeah. questions for you. OK. All right. You ready? Yeah, no, but all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So the first question, pretty easy. Uh, will sliders also show up in the community when you publish a a file? No, no. The the slider never uh, render in the file. This is the question. So when you export the file in the view in the preview, you don't see. When you open the file, you can see, but in the view, it, it's no it's not appear the the UST. When you implement the file, uh, neither is is it's never rendered for the for write. Yeah, yeah, they're like bones groups. They're just another control, so yeah. you won't see those. Um, and then the next one is from from me. Actually, I have a Ooh. very 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 serious question. So, when would you use joysticks, and when would you just do things in the old way, like? moving bones yeah. and things like that. Um, yeah, this is very interesting because uh, I think it's two ways to think. You can use just it wherever you want. This is the thing. You want to use just it every time in every part of your character, you can do it. For me, my idea is uh, the best way is just just it in all the elements that you need animate different in different times in your animation, OK? For example, a blink, um, arm that you need move sometimes. Uh, because we have a lot of animation that work as a loop. And because it's a loop, you don't need a joystick. Because if you create a joystick for that, uh, you need to key all the time that joystick. So, for that, I prefer create a loop, an animation with this loop in another layer in the same machine, for example, and that's it. And forget about this animation and keep the uh, loop. So let me show you because I think I have an example for that. That is the, oops, the animation I did for the workshop. Because we have the same question here. In this animation, uh, for example, this movement that the uh, fish is moving up and down, I can create a just for that and I made that. But if I do that, I need to uh, create here a lot of key to keep this movement. So in this way, I prefer create this animation with the idle because it's always working and that's it. I don't need more. What I need here maybe is create a joystick to move the pupils. So when I want, I move the pupils, the blinks, when the character turn. So this is this is the idea. Use in the different elements that you need animate in different times. But what I say, if you want to use for everything, you can do it. It's no, it's no problem. Sweet. Well, that's all the questions we got. Um... Yeah. I have some tips, some tricks, or some notes. Let's do it. To... Tips and tricks are great. Yeah. Uh, All right, hang on. Two, yeah. I'm going to give you five seconds to do this. Someone wants um, you to name that fish. Do it. The name? Yeah, oh, name the name. Character. Uh, boo. B there you go. B boo. B-U. Boo. There you go. It's been, it is decided. All right. Tips and tricks time. <laughs> 
Uh, some only some notes to keep in your mind. No, let's let's use this. This because yeah, we have this. So uh, yeah, but uh, I said before uh, one thing that you need to keep in your mind is when you use an animation for the vertical position or horizontal position. Uh, you need to make sure that uh, don't use, in this case, in the horizontal, the Y key, because in this case, uh, uh, you can use here. Uh, it's the same that what happened in the, in the state machine when we mix animation. If you use the same uh, property and you keep the same property, because we mix, uh, we mix the animation on top, one property is over to another. With the justice, it's the same. So you need have this in mind. The other thing is, uh, this is, we can see here. Uh, position, okay, anyway. Uh, something that it, you need to know too is, for example, here I have this, uh, the planet selected, the uh, property of the position in Y, and you can see uh, that uh, I have the key in Y, and I have this key selected too in blue, but I don't have key here in this animation. This doesn't mean that the joystick are using this key. So this is like, hey, be careful because this key is working in the other animation, okay? You can see that here happen the opposite. I have this full blue, that means uh, I use the key, and he is marked that in some moment I have a key, and this that means that the joystick are using in the other animation. This is uh, interesting to know. Uh, the other thing, uh, I think this, this animation is good to that. Uh, as you can see, uh, when you zoom in and out the joystick, because it's not in this in the in the space, don't change this this the, the side. And in some moments the joystick is over is missing together. So one way to avoid this is that thing. In the joystick, you can change the size, the position, and you can change the origin. So in this case, I can move the origin to this position in this joystick. So this way, when I zoom in and out, this is the origin of the position. Uh, so in this other joystick, I can put the origin 100, that is the other position. So in this way, when I zoom in and out, these two keep a little bit the distance. This is the, the thing, no? In this case, I can do the same like this, and move here, and move in different way. So. This is one thing you need to know, depend of the origin of the joystick. The joystick, when you think zoom and out, move in different way. For example, I'm going to move this here, move this zero, and this is 100, I don't remember now. Yeah, 100, move the joystick here, and now I keep this better. Um, and the other thing you can do with joystick is group. The joystick this way, you can move all the joystick using the group. This is the other thing to move uh, joystick. Uh, another thing I have my notes here is this uh, fish, 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 boo, <laughs> boo. Um, sometimes, uh, depending on your animation, but sometimes your character move a lot in the in the stage. Maybe the character go, you have a, a big screen and the character go from one side to another. Um, because you have the joystick here, maybe you need to go here and you can see the joystick and go here, you can see the joystick, this is complicated. So one thing you can do is nest the joystick to the character. So this way always, oops the joystick move with the character. So when the character is in this position and you need to animate something, the joystick is there. This is the thing. 
Dann äh, other thing interesting is uh, this. When you create the uh, for example, when you create an animation, it's better in here. This. Let's go and create uh, this joystick horizontal uh, key in X horizontal Oops. now in the demo I can move this okay so when I create this animation one thing I can think is I need use the interpolation curve in this animation or not the idea is that depends is <laughs> it how good say that but normally no when you use two positions, because the interpolation curve, normally you add to the joystick. When I want to move this element from here to here, I key the joystick and then I add the interpolation. And it's better always have this animation free of the interpolation, because if you have interpolation here, and then you have interpolation here, you can affect, affect the, the animation in some way. So normally you don't need it when you use um, to pose. The example is this. In this turn, for example, I key the position from one side to another. And you can see that everything here is line and then in the animation when i animate this i can add the interpolation uh, later but in some cases where you have in the case you have an animation like the robot like the animation we see of the robot here so we have a lot here we have the face in this case Yes, you need curve because this is an animation and happened different times. So you need a, a, a interpolation curve here. But uh, in the case, let's go to here. No, let's go and create another board. Um, I'm going to create a ellipse like this. Um, yeah. Because I'm going to do this, and this example is perfect. It's a good moment to explain this tricky that doesn't matter with Justin, but I think it's interesting. Uh, for example, if you want to transform the, this ellipse to a square, one thing you can do is uh, when you create the ellipse, change the handles to mirror. Then you can rotate the ellipse like this. So the vertex is forming this square, you can see here. And then in the animation, you can say, OK, now that is the ellipse, the um, the value of the uh, uh, lens of the of the vertex is this, and here is zero, and you have an square. This is a cool way to create from ellipse to a square. So I have this animation. I have this animation, but my idea is that here, let's go here and here, is go to the ellipse again. So this is the animation I have. I don't use interpolation curve, and you can see how it works. Animation again. Pack, pack. OK. So I'm going to create another animation to demo. And a joystick like this. And use in the X this time line. So now I can create this. So in this case, if I want to go from here to 
here. And in this case, I use interpolation in the joystick. This is what happened. So in the animation, I don't use uh, interpolation. I use in the joystick. But maybe this kind of deformation, this, this way that change is not what you want because it's too strong, punk, punk. So in this case, you can use an interpolation here. But my recommendation is used that way because you want to use the interpolation to make this transformation smooth. So my recommendation is use the interpolation, but that way. So this part is don't have the, the curve and the end have the curve and here the opposite. So this way, this part is that is more smooth. So here you can see now that is more smooth, this uh, change. So depending on the situation, maybe you need it because you have different keys and you see that when you move the joystick, this transformation is too strong. But normally when you move one position to another, you don't need it. You use the interpolation and the joystick. And the last tip that I think is interesting is that uh, in this case, uh, you can move the joystick and maybe for no reason your joystick is something like this and you need to move and you know this problem when you want to move a little but this is so difficult in this case you can use the arrow key to move the joystick this is very interesting to use too and that's it that's it i think is everything i have in my mind i have one a lot I have one tip. Okay, let's go. Let me show you. All right, I'm stealing the screen. This is unplanned, yeah. but I just thought of it. So yesterday I was uh, working on this uh, little this cool. interaction here. And one thing that I noticed is that, um, so the way I have this set up is I've got my nested artboard with my chicken and my chicken has it's little animations and I just created these the old way, um, you know, without joysticks. But when I actually moved it over to my main composition, I wanted to make more chickens and use the sliders as playback for a nested artboard. The one thing to remember is that if you duplicate your chickens or anything that you have nested. So here's my new chicken. Um, you'll notice that both of these chickens stop working the animation stopped playing and that's because both of the joysticks, both sets of joysticks are referencing the same animations that I had to create here for the joysticks. So you have to create a new set of animations for your joystick. So like, uh, let's see, let me duplicate this again. All right. I think it's this one. This one's chicken three. So I would have to make a new folder and then make all the, those animations again. And then I can just go in here. I'm just gonna connect these to random stuff. Uh, yeah, there we go, that's perfect. Um, that's perfect. That's perfect. Oh, no, not peck. Uh, timeline three. I think that's what I need. Oops, all right. And now when we go back to the state machine, this guy should start working again. Yep, he works, and now I just have to go in and set up those nested artboard playbacks to get the joysticks working. So if you duplicate something that is referencing one of your animations in here, uh, you'll have to create a new set of animations for that new set of joysticks. And then you can make exploding chickens. That's it. That's my tip. That's all I got. Cool. I like the, the chicken animation. <laughs> I, I like the chicken in general in animation. <laughs> Um, okay. it's not that the links don't update. It's that it's trying to reference the same animations. I, I don't know 
it might work if you just rename them. Um, like duplicate and rename, it might, but I feel like I tried yeah. it yesterday and it didn't work. I think maybe it works. I, I don't sure now, but I think because it's referencing another nested artboards animation, not the nested artboard that you're using. Yeah, yeah, this is this is the problem. Yeah, but in general, I think it's always the better way is uh, disconnect the animation from the yesterday and connect the new one better yeah. than try to rename because you can you can have problem with that yeah um, it's, yeah. it's, it's better make sure that works in the way you want because you can destroy your animation easily uh jeff is asking if we talked about draw and world space option did you talk about that uh this is when you connect the when you connect the justy to the target, yeah, is is for this reason the justy change the size because it's working in the in the in the in the world space, but only have this, so you can animate, you can do nothing with the justy itself. Yeah, it's only because when you connect the target, you can see that the justy change, and this is this is the reason. To work the justice with the target need to be in the same space. Uh, this is the reason. Yeah. One thing that we didn't mention is that there um, there is an invert toggle on the joystick. So earlier, JC, you had your keys backwards. Um, instead yeah. of having to flop the key or flip the keys, you can always hit that um, invert toggle and it'll go. Yeah, I, I forgot. That. Always I forgot things, but. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. This is the thing. The, the other thing is is interesting when you try different things with Justy to know how work when you put the key in this position on the other position to make sure that oh, when when the Justy is in the top, what the what the position I need to use in the animation. No? But yeah, you, you're right. You can switch in using that toggle. So this question, um, this is talking about the chickens. If I had created joysticks in the chicken artboard before nesting it in the um, the main composition, the animations would play no no problem. But if I wanted to use joysticks to control the playback of either my remapped or nested artboard animations, um, I would still run into the same issue. Because the only thing that I'm using the joysticks for on the main composition is to control the playback so that I didn't have to open yeah. the window every time and, 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 you know, set my mixes and stuff. I just set them in a timeline and then had a nice little, it's like a, it's like flipping a light switch, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I think in general, uh, about just the, I have two things in my mind is that, because now we have this and we think, oh, we can use a lot and we can... I think the two ways to think is uh, use just in a simple way. I mean, don't be complicated with just it. Don't try to create something more complex because the just it idea is made more easy, the thing. Yeah. And the other thing is because you can key everything, you can key shapes, uh, for example, to make one deformation, if you want to use a rig, you need to create a complex rig that maybe you can do it. Maybe the performance is worse because this, this rig have a lot of constraint or whatever, or not, depend. But because we just you can mix the rig and the and the vertex and the shapes, the thing is with just you can create a cool deformation. So this is yeah. the thing, no? That's make what, that's simple what using really Justin. And the other thing is you can create cool deformation. And maybe in one moment you need to think what is better? Use a complex rig or create a lot of a lot of keys to create this deformation. Because maybe in this deformation I need a lot of keys. But maybe it depends on the animation, because with the rig you have a lot of uh, constraint or whatever, and you need to move this. Uh, rig sometimes in your animation 
So all these clustering are working and all this is performance. But maybe with the joystick and all these keys, because uh, you use only one timeline and this key is one time, the performance is not too bad. So it's something that you need things sometimes to, it's better use the rig in this case or the joystick. But in general, be simple, don't, may, don't, don't be crazy, make the life more easy with joystick. Yeah. Sounds good. I think we're gonna leave it there. We're uh... We're over time anyways. And I think it was as, as uh, Laura and uh, Pedro pointed out the best live stream ever of all. Was fun. Was um, fun. Yeah. yeah. Did a great job. Yeah. Unless we get a last minute question. I think we're out of here. Um, yeah. That's it for streaming yeah. this week. We'll be back Tuesday um, for, yeah, for next week's uh, live stream schedule. Come hang out with us, and um, yeah, that's it. Bye, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. Bye-bye.